in this question we're asked to find the slope of the curve y equals x cubed minus 12x at the point where x is 1 and y is negative 11. And then later the equation of that tangent line. Now, the slope of the curve is the slope of the tangent line. And so when they say find the slope of the curve, they mean find the slope of the tangent line. And so that helps us measure how the curve is sloping. Now, at, at this point in the uh, text, we haven't learned the derivative yet. It's unfortunate. We just learned limits. And so we have some function, y equals x cubed minus 12x. Um, and uh, let's say it does something like this for the graph. We're interested, I think this happens at uh, square root of 12. Which is uh, four times the square root of three, uh, two times the square root of three. But anyway, um, so we're interested when x is one. So when x is one, we have this 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 point here, and we're trying to find the slope of the tangent line at that point. That'll tell us how the curve is sloping. All right, our job is to find a slope of that tangent line. Now what we're going to do is uh, find the slope of a secant line. We're going to take some, some place down the line here um, and call it um, either x or, uh, let's yeah, let's call it x. Okay. And what we're going to do is take um, the slope of the line that connects those two points. We have the point here called P. It, its coordinates are 1 and negative 11. And then we need this point here. Its coordinates are, uh, call it Q, its coordinates are X and F of X. Okay. And so what we need to do is take the slope of the line that connects them. Let me draw it in a different color. That's a bad drawing. I apologize about it. But um, there's the line that connects them. And that's the secant line. But as X approaches 1, that secant line slope will be the tangent line slope. And so it's our job to find this f of x minus negative 11 all divided by x minus 1. That'll be the secant line slope. And then when we take the limit as x goes to zero, uh, x goes to one on this, then what we have is a tangent line slope. And that's what we're looking for. Now, um, f of x is this function here, x cubed minus 12x. So we have the limit as x goes to 1 of x cubed minus 12x. And then we add 11. And the whole thing is divided by x minus 1. Okay. And so what we need is to, uh, is to see how to factor. We can't plug in x equals 1 because that would give division by 0. But 1 also makes the numerator equal to 0. And so the fact that 1 makes the numerator equal to 0, we can factor the numerator. Factoring cubics are usually is a difficult task, but we can factor that knowing that 1 is a root. Uh, we can long divide if you want. Uh, there's a shortcut called synthetic division. And so what we can do is take these coefficients. 1, uh, there are no x squares, a negative 12 and 11. And we're going to use synthetic division to figure out how this guy factors. It's going to factor as x minus 1 times some quadratic, and we're going to figure out what that quadratic is, and then that will allow us to then cancel the x minus 1 terms. Here's how you do it. It's called synthetic division. We bring down the 1. We multiply it by the, uh, the number here that would give us a 0, which is a 1. We add vertically to get a 1. Multiply by 1. Add vertically to get a negative 11. Multiply by 1 add vertically. You know you've done it right when you get a zero here. That means it's a factor. 
This was the coefficient on x cubed and x squared and x and the constant. But when dividing by a linear, you bump every power down by 1. So this is the coefficient on x squared on x and the constant. So this quadratic that multiplies by x minus 1 is x squared plus x minus 11. You don't have to worry about trying to factor that further. Um, just leave it as it is. And we now cancel the x minus 1 terms. And we can immediately just plug in x equals 1. Um, we can just write out the fact that we have now the limit as x goes to 1 on x squared plus x minus 11. And we just plug in 1 now. There's nothing to stop you. We had division by 0 before that stopped us, but now we don't have that anymore. And the answer is going to be 1 plus 1 minus 11. The answer is going to be a negative 9. Now, um, we haven't learned the derivative at this point in the text, and so that's why um, you get your hands are kind of tied behind your back. Those of you who know the derivative, though, can just take the derivative using the power rule. Um, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of negative 12x is negative 12. So this gives you the tangent line slope at any x. Shortcut, really. You don't have to do it this long way. Um, at this point, though, that's how they wanted us to do it because they, they hadn't, um, you hadn't gone over the derivative yet. But here's the derivative, and it, and it gives you the slope of the tangent line. At any, um, at any x. I'm interested in the slope of the tangent line when x is 1. So if I plug in a 1 into this, I get 3 minus 12. I get that same negative 9. That's a way to check yourself. Uh, but they really want it done this way.